going to read chapters one and two from Holes by Lewis Sacker. It's one of my favorite books. I read it when I was a fifth grade teacher to my fifth grade students. So I hope you enjoy it. There is no lake at Camp Green Lake. There once was a very large lake here, the largest lake in Texas. That was way over a hundred years ago. Now it's just flat, dry wasteland. There used to be a town of Green Lake as well. The town shriveled up and dried up along with the lake and the people who live there. During the summer, the daytime temperature hovers around 95 degrees in the shade, if you can find any shade, and there's not much shade in a big dry lake. The only trees are two old oak trees on the eastern edge of the lake. A hammock is stretched between the two trees and a log cabin stands behind them. The campers are forbidden to lie in the hammock. It belongs to the warden. The warden owns the shade. Out on the lake, rattlesnakes and scorpions find shade under rocks and in the holes dug by campers. Here's a good rule to remember about rattlesnakes and scorpions. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you, usually. Being bitten by a scorpion or even a rattlesnake is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You won't die, usually. Sometimes a camper will try to be bitten by a scorpion or even a small rattlesnake. Then he will get to spend a day or two recovering in his tent instead of having to dig a hole out on the lake. But you don't want to be bitten by a yellow spotted lizard. That's the worst thing that could happen to you. You will die a slow and painful death, always. If you get bitten by a yellow spotted lizard, you might as well go into the shade by the oak tree and lie in the hammock because there's nothing that anyone can do for you. Chapter two. The reader is probably asking, why would anyone go to Camp Green Lake? Most campers were given a choice. Camp Green Lake is a camp for bad boys. If you take a bad boy and make him dig holes every day in the hot sun, it will turn him into a good boy. That was what some people thought. Stan Stanley Yelnats was given a choice. The judge said, you may go to jail or you can go to Camp Green Lake. Stanley was from a poor family and had never been to camp before. So that's chapter one and two. I'll continue with chapter three. Stay tuned.